You are welcome to Grizzly Tales for Gruesome Kids. A series of cautionary tales for lovers of squeam. Hello. In the olden days, the police would catch telephone pranksters by bugging their telephones. These bugs were highly trained insects that dug around in the criminal mind and found out what he was thinking. Thankfully, there is no need of these bugs anymore. Not since the gas man cometh. <laughs> Hello? 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 Can you hear me when you're on the loo? No. Because everyone can hear you! <laughs> As a telephone prankster, Stefan was a master of deceit. Who could lure a victim onto his hook without the victim ever knowing. Is that the headmistress? It is. School inspector here. Oh, dear. Yes, Miss Fatty Draws. We're doing an inspection this afternoon, so I'd panic if I were you. <coughs> Not this afternoon. Oh, yes. By the way, give that nice boy Stefan the rest of the week off. I inspected his schoolwork last night. He's very brainy and doesn't have to do sports if he doesn't want to. Stefan, you're dead meat. Ow. He was banned from using normal telephones, so he bought himself a mobile one. He phoned the school dinner ladies and said, My name is Michael Caine, and I am in the area, ladies. And when I say I fancy a spot of lunch, I mean it. Steak will do lovely, with chips, and a nice bottle of fizzy pop. <laughs> and when Michael didn't turn up, Stefan ate the actor's steak for him. <laughs> it was about this time that Stefan received his first phone call. He was laughing at nice people with unfortunate names when a click interrupted his nuisance call. <laughs> Sorry, said Stefan. Can I speak to Sarah Walls, please? No, there's no Sarah Walls living here. No Sarah Walls? Is Tim Walls there? I'm afraid he's not. No, I live here. I get it. With Imogen. Can I speak to Imogen Walls, please? No, there's no Imogen. So you've got no walls in that house at all? No. So how does your roof stay up, then? <laughs> <laughs> Stefan received his second call whilst hoaxing a man in Liverpool. Hello, I'm from the electricity company. Just checking that your electricity's getting through, OK? Yes, yeah, seems to be. Is your fridge running? Yes. Well, what are you doing on the phone, then? Run after it! <laughs> Stefan, stop. I've got your number. A shiver ran down Stefan's spine. Then the sinister voice was gone. Anyone else would have stopped immediately, but Stefan had become a crank call junkie, fueled by his daily fix of mischief. Poor Mr. Smelly didn't stand a chance. Good evening, Stefan said. Are you Smelly? Yes, I am Smelly, said the old man. And is your wife Smelly too? Yes, she is. We both smell it. You should take a bath then! <laughs> Hello? Somebody out there was listening in. Who is this? I am the gas man. Do you want to buy some helium? What's helium? A gas, Stefan. A hoot too. It's lighter than air. Fill a balloon with helium. It floats. 
Are you a balloon, Stefan? Would you go... if I stuck a pin in you? No! Not laughing, Stefan? I thought you liked a good joke. I do, Stefan said. When it's mine... In that case, I should have mentioned that helium also makes your voice squeaky. Think of the jokes you could do with a squeaky voice. You could be Mickey Mouse, an alien from outer space. Or the Queen, Stefan cried. He'd always wanted to impersonate the Queen. I'll take it. Yes, said the gas man. I rather thought you might. The next day, Stefan bunked off school and waited for his helium to arrive. Good morning, Stefan. I am the gas man. I've brought your helium. How much? It's free. Why? Why not? I like a joke as much as the next man. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan couldn't wait to get started. Queen here. He squeaked. Did you say queen? We did. Now here's the prob. <laughs> we is looking for somewhere to leave 30 corgis while we go on holiday and we think your front room would be ideal. But I don't know anything about dogs. Oh, they're a doddle. Simply shove stuff in one end and mop it up when it comes out the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'm so funny. Hello, Queen here. Would you like to buy Australia? <laughs> and so it went on all afternoon. Every five minutes, another shot of gas. Every five minutes, another royal hoax. But what Stefan didn't notice was that every mouthful of helium made his body lighter. That's right. We are Her Royal Majesty the Queen, and most upset that we are Finding himself floating in outer space wiped the smile off Stefan's face. He grabbed hold of a passing mobile phone satellite and screamed for help. But there was nobody around for millions of miles. Yes? Game over. Squeaked the helium-filled voice on the end of the line. You lose. Then... Stefan's phone went dead. Which meant that he could never make another phone call in his life. <laughs> so now you know. Yeah, keep talking, Mum. When you get a call and there's nobody on the other end, it's Stefan. Nearly done, Mum. And if you use a mobile phone, it microwaves inside your head. Done, Mum. Bye. I love pigeon pie. <laughs> this just in. Research reveals that TV cameras are invisible to Japanese fighting fish. He'll wonder what that pain was for at least three seconds. <laughs> I've been Dirk News, dude. Reporting on CITV's Summer Scoops.